So here we have the iPhone XS running the new iOS 14 beta. And I'm happy to say that Apple actually listened and is giving us some nice camera features for these older phones. So let's dive into my top five. So first, let's go over into the camera. Now you'll see that the camera has been redesigned and it's actually what we had in the iPhone 11. Where at the bottom we have the photo and you swipe up, you'll see that we have aspect ratios, you know, four by three, square, 16 by nine. We also have the zoom control, which is from the iPhone 11, which is nice because it shows you kind of exactly where you are in the zoom along with the focal length equivalent, you know, 52 millimeters here. Uh, we get the new shutter button. So if we tap it, we can take a photo, but if we swipe to the right, we get a quick video. And if we go to the left, we get a burst, which is awesome. The other nice feature that we have now is if we go to video, uh, we can actually change the frame rate at the top here. And if you saw my previous video, you remember I was complaining about this. Uh, so you can actually go from 4K60 to 4K24, all within this app, without having to jump out. What's also cool about this app is we get a little indicator at the top to show that the camera is active with this little green dot. And if we leave the app, um, the green dot will actually stay if the camera is still active. So the second improvement we get is more control. So if you go into settings here and go to the camera, you'll see that this page for the camera is pretty much filled out, which it wasn't before. And one of the things that I want to talk about is this volume up for burst, which gives us more control over how we trigger the camera. So if we go back to the camera and take a look, when we do volume down, it'll take a photo. And if we hold it, it'll take a quick short video. But if we want to do burst, we can now use the volume up button. So it just gives us a quicker way to just jump in and do, you know, a single shot or multiple shots, which is pretty sweet. Unfortunately, this will not do autofocus at the same time. So if you do a burst and have something moving around, it won't do that as it would with something like the new Xperia 1 Mark II. But it's still an improvement. And it's nice to see these old phones getting something like this. So that leads into my next point that this app is faster. So when we launch the app, it's faster to get to the camera view and take your first shot, as well as bursts are faster. And these bursts apparently will do four frames per second on the iPhone 11s, which is insane. So next, let's go into the Photos app. There's some nice improvements here too. So if you open up the Photos app, you'll see we have a, have a bunch of photos of this, uh, of this shade here. And you'll see that they all look the same. And one of the issues we had is it was hard to tell if things were landscape or portrait just from scanning through. But now if you go to the top right here, we can actually select aspect and see, oh, these are the ones that are horizontal and which ones are vertical. This is really useful for organizing your footage and seeing how you shot things. And this is definitely something that photographers and videographers will appreciate. And you can always put it back if you want to fill the screen. So the next thing I want to talk about is also in the Photos app. And that is if we go to a photo or video, we can actually add a caption now. So if we pull this up, we have an add a caption. And we can actually you know, write some text here and make some notes essentially. And this is especially cool for videos where you may not know what's in the video and you can actually put it in the text here. Like, you know, good shot of home screen. Nice. All right, well, those are my top five features in the new beta. Hopefully you found that helpful. So remember, this is just a beta, so it's most likely gonna change before it's launched in the fall. Hopefully it gets better. It's nice to see Apple's actually listening and address two of the issues that I brought up. So let's see what happens in the fall. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.